Hey, we're back for more Shakespeare. We are still in Coriolanus. We are in Act 3, Scene 2 today. And today we get to hear from Coriolanus himself. Uh, if you remember, yesterday his mom was like, um, you've kind of pissed everybody off. So you're going to go in there and you're going to say some nice things and you're going to eat this slice of humble pie and you're going to make all this better so that they don't push you off of this rock and kill you. And he's like... He's like, do I have to? Do I really? And they're like, yeah, you really have to. And he's like, um, no, I really don't want to because that's not cool. And she's like, no, 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 you're going to go do it. And he says, well, I must do it. Away my disposition and possess me some harlot's spirit. My throat of war be turned, which, choired with my drum, into a pipe, small as eunuch or the virgin voice that babies lull asleep. The smile of knaves tent in my cheeks and schoolboy tears take up the glasses of my sight. A beggar's tongue make motion through my lips and my armed knees who bowed but in my stirrup bend like his that hath received an alms. I will not do it. Lest I surcease to honor mine own truth and by my body's action teach my mind a most inherent baseness. friend of the people ever is Coriolanus. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how well this works out for him. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah.